Are you preparing for your Ontario G1 driving test? Well, you are in the right place. In this video, we have compiled a comprehensive set of knowledge base, road, rules, question and answer that will help you pass your test on the first try. We will cover everything from the basic question to complex right of way situations. So buckle up, get ready and let's hit the road to success. Okay, let's start Ontario rule test number one. Let's start the quiz and our first question is where there are no posted speed limits, the maximum speed in cities, towns and villages are uh, they are almost 50 km per hour. Option D is the correct answer. Next question, question number two. When lights are required, drivers are required to switch to low beam headlights. The correct answer is within 150 meter of an oncoming vehicle. Option D is the correct one. Next question, question number three. By law, you must report any collision to the police when there are injuries or damages to the vehicle or other property exceeding exceeding more than $2,000. Option C is the correct answer. Next question, question number four. A flashing green lights are intersection where turns to the left and right are permitted indicates, they indicates you may turn to the left if the way is clear, uh, it's also correct. You may proceed straight through if they if the way is clear. Second option is also correct. And our last uh, option is you may turn to the right if the way is clear. A, B and D option, these three all are correct. So you can select any one of them. And our next question is question number five. Threshold breaking means threshold breaking means uh, you use all the braking force available without lacking the wheels. Option D is the correct one. Next question. Question number six. A read signals light with the green arrow is shown at an intersection indicates it actually indicates that proceed with the caution in the direction of the arrow. The correct answer is proceed with the caution in the direction of the arrow. Next question. Question number seven. Most kids are the result of uh, most kids are the result of acceleration too quickly. It's also correct. Driving too fast. Uh, this one is also correct. And the uh, hard braking. Option A, B, and D. These three options are correct. So you can select any one of them. And we are choosing this last option. Next question. Question number eight. If a traffic signal changes while a pedestrian is still on the street, which of the following has the right of the way? The right of the way is for the pedestrians. Option C is the correct one. Next question. Question number nine. When on street designed for two-way traffic, if you hear the siren of the emergency vehicle, what does the law require you to do? The law requires you to pull as far as possible to the right and stop the, your vehicle. Option A is the correct one. Next question, question number 10. If you live in Ontario, you must be at least dash years old and have a valid Ontario driver license to drive in the in this province. The correct answer is you must 16 years old. Option B is the correct one. Next one, option, question number 11. While you are driving with a G1 license, you must not drive between uh, 9 a.m. and uh, no, it's the correct answer is midnight and 5 a.m. Option C is the correct one. Next question. Question number 12. If you are involved in an accident where injuries or damages exceed $2,000, you must report this to your nearest provincial or local police. The correct answer is immediately. Option D is the correct one. Next question. Question 13. Question number 13 is, if your vehicle becomes disabled on a 400 series highway, you should uh, you should pull over, uh, activate your emergency flashers and wait for help. Option D is the correct answer. By mistake, we have selected the option C, but the correct answer is option D, which is pull over, activate your emergency flashers and wait for help. Option D is the correct one. Next question, question number 14. Never use the cruise control feature. The correct answer is on wet, slippery, snowy, or icy surface. This is also correct. On winding roads, it's correct. And the next one is in urban traffic. 
option A, B and D. These all are correct option. So you can select any one of them. Next question. Question number 15. If your blood alcohol concentration is more than 80 milligrams in 100 milliliters of blood, uh, then the correct answer is the correct answer is your license will be suspended immediately for almost 90 days, three months. Option A is the correct one. Next question, question number 16. A flashing blue light mounted on a motor vehicle indicates what? It indicates no removal equipment. Option B is the correct one. Next question, question 17. When the traffic signal light facing you in red and you intend to go straight through the intersection, what must you to do first? Uh, the correct answer is stop and wait until the light changes to green and intersection is clear before moving through it. Option C is the correct option. Next question, question 18. On a roadway where the traffic is moving in both directions, in what position must you uh, to do before making a left turn? The correct answer is immediately to the right of the center line of the road. The correct answer is option D. Next question, question 19. The nearest driver may park to the fire hydrant is the correct answer is 3M. Option A. Next question, question 20. When entering a freeway, you should you should signal and increase your speed to merge smoothly with traffic. Option A is the correct one. Next question, question 21. What is the driver of a motor vehicle not permitted to carry in a house or boat trailer? The correct answer is persons. Option A. Next question, question number 22. Which of the following has the right of way over all other at an intersection when the light is green? The correct answer is pedestrian crossing with the light. Option A is the correct one. Next question, question 23. Under all condition, you should drive at the speed that will allow you to, that will allow you to stop within a safe distance. Option B. Next one. Question number 24, while you are driving with a learner license and uh, accompanying driver must sit in the front passenger seat, the correct answer is during the hour of darkness. Option A, no. Okay, by mistake, we have selected the wrong answer. The correct answer is option B, which is at all times. Next question, question number 25, at 15 demerit points, your license will be suspended for 30 days. After the suspensions, the number of points on your driver records will be reduced to, it will reduce to 7, option B. Next question, question 26, if you are involved in a reportable accident, you must make your report to your nearest provincial or municipal police. The correct answer is immediately. You need to inform immediately. Uh, next question, 27. Upon approaching a stop sign, what does the law require you to do before entering an intersection? The correct answer is stop and when it is safe to do so, then proceed. Option D. Next question. Question number 28, a flashing yellow beacon above an intersection. The correct answer is warned you to drive with cautions. Option C is the correct answer. Next question, question 29, a licensed driver changes his or her name or address. They must inform the Ministry of Transportation. The correct answer is within six days. Option B. Next question and the last question of this quiz, if you are convicted to careless driving, you will get you will get can be fined up to 2000 okay six demerits points your lessons may be suspended all three options are correct so we need to select this option number a which is all of these and guys here this quiz is completed so we go to the quizzes page and we select the ontario quizzes and let's select the next quiz which are ontario rule test number two let's start the quiz Question number one, when faster traffic wants to pass you, uh, the correct answer is move to the right and let it pass in safety. Option A is the correct one. Next question. Question number two, when lights are required, drivers are required to switch to low beam headlights. The correct answer is within 150 meter of an oncoming vehicle. Option B is the correct one. Next question. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री अ पेडिस्ट्रियंस फेसिंग अ फ्लैशिंग और स्टडी हैंड और डोंट वॉक सिंबल शुड इट शुड बी इट शुड बी नॉट क्रॉस बट फिनिश क्रॉसिंग द स्ट्रीट इफ दे हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट वन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी फोर वट डॉक्यूमेंट्स मे अ पुलिस ऑफिसर रिक्वायर्ड अ मोटर व्हीकल ऑनर टू प्रोड्यूस टू प्रोड्यूस अ वैलिड ड्राइवर लाइसेंस लेबिलिटी इंश्योरेंस कार्ड प्रूफ ऑफ मोटर व्हीकल और ऑनरशिप सो ऑप्शन ए ऑप्शन सी एंड ऑप्शन डी दीज ऑल आर करेक्ट यू कैन सिलेक्ट एनी वन ऑफ देम नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी फाइव द बेस्ट वेज टू स्टॉप क्विकली ऑन अ वेट और आई सी रोड वे इज टू इज टू ब्रेक एंड इफ दील लॉक देन रिलीज प्रेशर अंटिल यू कम टू द स्टॉप ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट वन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन सिक्स इफ यू डू नॉट टेल द ट्रूथ अबाउट योर व्हीकल इंश्योरेंस और इफ यू शो फॉल्स डॉक्यूमेंट देन इन दिस केस द करेक्ट आंसर इज हैव योर व्हीकल टेकन अवे फॉर अप टू थ्री मंथस इट्स करेक्ट you can be fined to 25000 dollars it's also correct and the last option is you may lose your driver license for up to 1 year all three options are so correct so we are going to this select this option number 1 which is all of these next question question number 7 never change lanes without without signaling checking the rear view mirror and checking blind spot option a is the correct one next question question number 8 unless otherwise posted the maximum speed limit allowed on the highway outside of the city town and village is the correct answer is almost 80 km per hour option a is the correct one next question question number 9 how many demerits points will be recorded on your license for failing to stop or police the correct answer is uh, option d 7 points next question question 10 in good weather conditions you are required to keep a safe distance behind the vehicle in front of you you should keep at least uh, at least a 2 second gap to the other vehicle option d is the correct one next question question number 11 before moving from a park position you should you should always signals and check the check for traffic pulling out only when it is safe to do so next question question 12 how many demerit points will be recorded on your license for careless driving almost 6 demerit points will be recorded option d is the correct one next question question number 13 if your vehicles go off the pavement you should uh, you should take your foot off the gas pedal to slow down uh, grip the steering wheel firmly and avoid heavy braking it's correct get the vehicle under control steer toward the pavement a b and c these three options are correct so uh, next question is question number 14 when approaching a railway crossing where an electrical or mechanical signal device is warning of the approach of the train you must stop at least 5 meter from the nearest rail or gate option d is the correct one next question question number 15 if a tire blows out then you should you should take your foot off the gas pedal to slow down and steer the vehicle firmly in the direction you want to go option c is the correct one next question question 16 in what lane of traffic you should drive when you intend to make a right hand turn the correct answer is close to the right side of the road option b is the correct one next question under what circumstances you, uh, may you lend your driver license to another person never option a is the correct one next question question number 18 when you are driving with a g1 license you must not drive on 400 series highway with a posted speed limit over uh, over 80 km per hour option a is the correct one next question question 19 persons operating mobility device are treated the same way as pedestrians uh, at all time option a is the correct one next question question 20 when descending a steep hill a good and safe driving practice is to uh, is to gear down and use the motor to assist in braking option a is the correct one next question during poor weather conditions such as rain snow smoke and fog uh, switch your headlights switch your headlights to low beam option a is the correct one 
Next question, question 22. On approaching an intersection where a traffic signal light is red and policeman motions you to go through, uh, you should you should obey the policeman signals and then proceed. Option B is the correct one. Next question, question 23. A flashing red beacons above an intersection means uh, the correct answer is you must come to the complete stop and move through the intersection only when it is safe to do so. Next one, question 24. Parking lights should be used uh, should be used for parking only. Option D. Next question, question 25. In what position on a roadway you must uh, do before making a left turn from one-way traffic street? The correct answer is close to the left side of the roadway. Option A is the correct one. Next question, question 26. Under what circumstances may a driver lose their license? Uh, any of these, uh, option A, option C and D, all are correct. Next question, question 27. At street car stops, stay at least dash meters behind the rear doors where passengers are getting off or on. And the correct answer is two, almost two meters behind the rear doors. Next question, 28. When a right turn against a red signal light is permitted, what does the law require you to do before entering the intersection and making a turn? The correct answer is come to the complete stop and wait until the way is clear. Option A, option D is the correct one. Next question, question 29. A solid line at the left of your lane means, uh, at the left of your lane, it means it is unsafe to pass. Option D. Next and the last question of this quiz. When parking facing downhill, uh, you should, you should uh, set your parking brake only. It's correct. Leave your front wheels parallel to the curb. It's also correct. Turn your front wheels to the left and set your parking brake. Uh, this is also correct. So we select this option D, which is all above options. And guys, here this Ontario practice uh, rule test number two is also completed. So we go to this main page and here we select this Ontario state. And now we are going to solve Ontario rule test number three. So let's start this quiz. Question number one, when deciding to make a U-turn, your first consideration should be to check. You need to check the traffic regulation, which is option D. Next question. Question number two, if you registered a BAC from this point, you will receive an immediate driver license suspension. The correct answer is from 0.05 to 0.08. The next one, question number three, when it is safe to do so, passing other vehicle on their right side. The correct answer is, is permitted when the street or a highway has two or more lanes for traffic in the directions you are traveling. Option B. Next one, question number four, are drivers responsible for their passengers backing up? The correct answer is only if passengers are from five years of age up to 16. Next one, question number five. If you are 80 years of age or older, you are required to renew your driver license every every two year. Next one, question number six. A broken line at the left of your lane means it means you may pass if the way is clear. Option C. Next question, question seven. Fully licensed driver, the Ministry of Transportation may suspend your license after a nine points interview. The correct answer is under no circumstances. Option B. Next one, question 8. When does the law require lights on vehicle to be turned on? It must be turned between half an hour before sunset to half an hour after sunrise. And at any other time, you cannot see clearly for the distance of almost 150 meter. Next question, question number 9. If the signal light changes from a green to amber as you approach an intersection, what should you do? You need to stop if the stop cannot be made safely. Proceed with cautions. Next question. Question number 10. The hand and arm signal for slowing or stopping is? The correct answer is arm out and down. Option A is the correct one. Next question. Question number 11. 
in ontario you must wear a seat belt all the time option a next question question number 12 how many demerits points will be recorded and in on your lessons for careless driving six points are recorded option a next question question number 13 the fine for not using a child car seat or booster seat as required by law is the correct answer is up to one thousand dollar plus two demerits point option b next one question number 14 if two vehicles arrive at an uncontrolled intersection at approximately the same time the right of way should be given to the right of way should be given to the vehicle approaching from the right option b is the correct one next question unless you want the turn left or pass another vehicle you should the correct answer is keep to the right of the road next question question number 16 winter traction is affected by slippery condition in winter driver should drive the correct answer is uh, option b which is slower next question question number 17 when lights are required driver must switch to low beam headlights when following another vehicle at what distance the correct answer is within 60 m option c is the correct one next question question number 18 a school bus with red signal lights flashing is stop on a highway that has no median strip what does the law require you to the law required you to stop at least 20 meter away option c is the correct one next question pedestrians walking on a highway should normally walk should normally walk facing traffic option d next one question number 20 upon approaching a yield sign what does the law require you to do the law required you to slow down stop if necessary and proceed only when the way is clear option d is the correct answer next question question number 21 motorcycles are entitled to use of entitled to use of a full lane option a next question question 22 rules for both the g1 and g2 license holders include it include uh, you it include each person in the vehicle must wear a seat belt option b is the correct option next question question 23 what should you do when a car is stopped at a marked crosswalk to low a distance to cross the correct option is stop behind it option c next question question number 24 fully licensed driver who talk text types and deals or email using a handheld cell phones and other handheld communication or entertainment devices face fines to up to the correct answer is dollar thousand and three demerits point option d is the correct one next question question 25 when meeting oncoming vehicle with bright headlights at night the correct answer is look up and beyond and slightly to the right of the oncoming light option a next question fully licensed drivers at 15 demerits points the correct answer is your license will be suspended for 30 days option b next question question 27 what must a driver do before entering a highway from a private road to driveway the correct answer is option c next question question number 28 a person whose driver license is under suspensions may may not drive under no circumstances option d is the correct one next question and the second last question of this quiz you are approaching an intersection on a main road and the intersection is blocked with traffic then you should you should stop before entering the intersection and wait until traffic ahead moves on option e is the correct one and our last question of this quiz is it is more dangerous to drive at the maximum speed limit at night than during the day because uh, because you cannot see as far ahead even with headlights option b is the correct option and guys here our this quiz rule test number three is also completed so we go to this ontario states and here we see that we have multiple quizzes almost all are solved and in next phase we are going to solve ontario rule test number four so let's start the quiz question number a driver licensed under the graduate driver license programs are restricted from operating a vehicle 
the correct answer is when any amount of alcohol has been consumed option a is the correct one next question question number two what should you do if you become stranded in snow the correct answer is run your vehicle engine for approximately five minutes every hour of for heating option b next one question three when can you pass on our shoulders the correct answer is if the vehicle turning left and only if the shoulder is paved option c next one question number four high occupancy vehicle lanes on provincial highway are reserved for vehicle carrying how many passengers the correct answer is at least two passengers are carrying next one question number five question number five what should you do when exiting a freeway the correct answer is signal move into the declaration lane reduce speed gradually or obey exit signs next one question six what should you do if you feel drowsy while driving the correct answer is option number b stop for a short rest and the safe area next one question number seven when do you stop for a school bus if there is a median the correct answer is if you are behind it and has red lights flashing next one question number eight what you cannot see in your vehicle rear and side view mirrors is said to be in your the correct answer is blind spot next one question number nine why must you use signals when turning to inform cyclists of your intentions to notify the others of your intentions and to advise pedestrians of what you want to do all three options are correct so we select this option number a next question question number 10 what action should be taken if your brakes fail the correct answer is option a next one question number 11 if you fail or refuse to give a breath or blood sample when asked by the police your license will be immediately suspended for uh, suspended for 90 days option a next one question number 12 coming to the complete stop at an intersection is required but where do you stop if there is no stop line crosswalk or sidewalk the correct answer is at the edge of intersection option a next one question number 13 always be aware of traffic around you in your drive check your mirrors every seconds or so every five seconds option b is the correct one next question question number 14 the accessible parking permits allow you allow you to vehicle carrying a person to whom it was issued to use designated disabling parking space next one question number 15 signs giving instructions around roadworks are they are uh, legally enforceable option b is the correct one next question question number 16 road test failures may result from may result from difficult obeying traffic law lack of skills and control unsafe actions option a c and d all are correct so we select these options any of these or all of these next one question number 17 when a red x is indicated over a driving lane then the correct answer is a driver must not enter or remain in that lane next one question 18 if there are continuity lines to the right of your lane what must you do you need to require to do anything unless you want to exit the correct answer is option c next question question number 19 wet roadways can cause uh, it can cause loss of tractions poor visibility and hydro planning option a b and d these all are correct next one question number 20 you must not follow any emergency vehicle that has its siren or lights operating within lights operating within within 150 meter the correct answer is option a question number 21 what is the safest action to take when your vehicle driver our black ice the correct answer is option number a next one question number 22 if a front tire goes flat your vehicle will pull strongly to the strongly to the side that has a flat tire option b is the correct one next question 
who has the right of way in our roundabout the correct answer is option number c traffic in the roundabout next one question number 24 what is meant by over driving your headlights the correct answer is driving so fast that you stopping distance as far than you see with your headlights next one question number 25 how many days do ontario resident have to register their vehicle the correct answer is option c which is 30 days next one question number 26 never make a u-turn unless you can see at least dash both direction at least one fifth at least 250 meters in both direction next one question number 27 hydro planning can cause your vehicle to skid it is caused by it is caused by your tires riding on top of the water option d is the correct one next question question number 28 when a police officer signals uh, pull your vehicles over you must pull over as far as to the left as possible next question the second last question of this quiz how many demerits points will be recorded on your lessons for failing to remain at the scenes of collisions the demerits points are seven option d next one the last question of this quiz how much room do cyclists need on their side of themselves on the safety zone the correct answer is almost 1 p meter and guys this ontario rule test number four is also completed i hope these videos are helpful for you and i will meet you in our next video till that goodbye